Hi, this is part four in a series of videos documenting the engine rebuild on my 944. The short block is fully assembled and in this video I will be installing the oiling system components. This includes the oil pump, oil pan and pickup tube, and finally the air oil separator. Welcome to 944 Restore. The oil pump is driven by the crankshaft using a drive gear, which engages the pump shown here. I decided to disassemble the pump internals to inspect it and also to add some assembly grease, which I read will help prime the pump and build oil pressure. The pump is held in by these two screws, but it is also sealed with some Loctite 574. I used my old drive gear to knock the pump out of the housing. For reassembly, I am going to put some tape around the outside edge. I will be adding assembly grease to the internals and want to keep the outside dry so I can seal it with the Loctite 574 later. When reassembling, the innermost gear will only fit one way, but the outer gear has a small punch mark that must be facing up. Make sure to apply sealant around the outside edge. I assembled the pump back into the housing by laying the pump on a table and slowly lowering the housing over it, lining up the bolt holes. The housing must also be sealed. Run a bead of Loctite 574 around the pump housing. The oil pump is secured using bolts with four different lengths. Here is a diagram showing the bolt arrangement. The longest of the bolts also secures the rear timing cover. I wasn't able to torque down these bolts without the cover, so I temporarily installed it so I could torque down the bolts and allow the sealant to cure. I will be installing a new oil pump drive gear and front main seal. I used a 36 millimeter socket to drive it in.
Now install the gasket and washer. The pump is driven by friction from the crank pulley. These help apply that pressure to the drive gear to engage it. Hammer in that keyway and the oil pump is installed. I am replacing the gasket on the oil pickup tube. Some models have a gasket for the return tube as well, mine does not. I'm going to try installing the gasket dry and apply some RTV to the corners. Out of the package, the gasket has some white residue, which I'm going to remove using acetone. Here you can see the before and after. The oil dipstick tube on my early 944 is installed using a sealant. I believe later models have an O-ring instead. I added ultra gray RTV to the corners where the girdle meets the block and also where the oil pump is installed to the block. A light smear of RTV was also added to the rear. With the gasket in place, install the oil pan, being careful to not damage the pickup tube. I'm using a pick to align the gasket holes with the bolt holes. I found it helpful to tape a diagram showing the tightening procedure to the oil pan. The manual says to install the bolts using three steps, finger tight, three foot pounds, and finally six foot pounds. I probably did a dozen steps, each time tightening the bolts to just finger tight. The gasket really compresses. There are one or two bolts that require a crow's foot to correctly torque down. Here's a look at the gasket after the final torque sequence. There is an O-ring underneath the cap here.
To remove the cap, there are some tabs holding it on. Insert a screwdriver and lightly press down on each one while pulling on the cap, one at a time. The cap will eventually pop free. This is way more difficult than I anticipated and took some trial and error. The O-ring isn't part of the Porsche PET. I'll have a link in the description below. These two O-rings that connected the block were different sizes on my 944. Lightly oil the O-rings before installing. To install the AOS, push it in until the O-ring seat and then torque down the three bolts. And that concludes the assembly of the oiling system. Thanks for watching. Next in this series, I will be installing the balance shafts.